Welcome back to Cards and Comics, and today I've got an epic, huge comic book mail day. But this one's pretty special because I've got one Silver Age book and one Golden Age book that are graded, you know, one each that's graded. And to me, they epitomize the differences between those two eras and what makes them great. They're two of my most favorite comic book covers, books I've never owned before. I'm going to be excited to show them off to you at the end. I want to start here with um, books I picked up at uh, my local comic book store in Boston Spa. This is Excellent Adventures and Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man number 116. I noticed it on Key Collector app, so I picked it up for $6. Uh, felt it was a really good deal. $6, Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man 116. Next up is... A book that was in the dollar bin, and this is X Men 236. Um, you know, to me, that is a book that you hardly ever find in the dollar bin. So I saw, I picked it up, and to me, 236 for a dollar. I love the cover. Uh, it's a great story, too. So um, really cool uh, to pick that up for a dollar. Next up is a book that has gone up and down in, in value, but to me, great, great cover. And uh, to me, I thought $8 for this book was pretty cheap. And it is Amazing Spider-Man 378 with both Carnage and um, Venom on the cover. And a great, I think this is Mark Bagley cover. So just a really cool, really, really cool book. Uh, to me, again, great cover. And I'm really excited to pick up these kind of Spider-Man books whenever I get a chance, because I feel like, um, I honestly think these books are harder to find in the wild as people have kind of picked up on these covers being so awesome. And, uh, yeah. So very excited about this one and, uh, glad I got it for $8 because I don't think I actually have too many copies of this book. I maybe have one. Now, next up was a book I didn't really know much about until I looked it up. But I love the cover and I love the colors used. And this is Uncanny X-Men uh, number 509. And this is the Greg Land variant. And so this was $10. And I think this book definitely goes over $10. I think it's more of a $30 to $40 book. But to me, I thought it was just great to be able to find this cover. And there's some other Land variants he had from the series. But this one to me was the best. And... Uh, to me, priced where I felt like it was something I could pick up and uh, maybe resell or keep for my uh, variant cover collection. But anyway, I thought great cover and great price. And so no brainer on that one. And same way for this one. I actually found this digging in their boxes. It wasn't out. It was just in a box. But man, I thought this was kind of a pretty cheap one too because this is the Secret War... Um, this is the Gazin variant, but this is Run the Jewels. So a lot of people, you know, want this book. And I feel like um, that you're going to have, you know, uh, this book just always be one of those kind of like the hip hop variants. Just something that people always kind of either want to put a, a whole run together or just keep them, you know, because they're very unique. And I feel like this one was definitely very, very cool to find for 10 bucks. Um, at the LCS, and so I grabbed it, and I think it was definitely a good, good deal. Uh, next up, actually a book I've never owned before either, and this is Amazing Spider-Man 258. And again, this is a very key moment in the creation of Venom. This is where Peter Parker basically um, figures out how to get rid of the symbiote, uh, you know, and, and kind of the bells affect it, and, you know, or sound. And a uh, very cool cover. A book I don't actually own, so this is for my personal collection. Uh, $15 to me is a good price. And uh, again, a book I needed for my collection. And again, if I paid too much or you know, I could have got it cheaper somewhere else, it's fine. Um, I love supporting the LCS anyway. And I felt like I was getting pretty good deals on some other books. So I don't mind overpaying for a few books. Um, here's another one I thought was great color. It's got a few... Um, places here, i oh, maybe show you here, like, you know, one, yeah, one ding there, 
but it doesn't break the color. And so it didn't have any color breaks that I could see for this book. Um, and this is, you know, X Men um, 135. Um, you know, first appearance of Senator Kelly. It also is a great Dark Phoenix cover. Uh, very striking. It's a book that, you know, uh, in high grade def definitely does well. This is one that, you know, press and grade, and, and if it gets, you know, in the 92, 94 range, it would be amazing. A book I actually don't own. So, again, excited about this book. Possibility, maybe getting graded. But I thought 25 bucks definitely a good deal. Now, this is one that, um, sorry, there's a weird noise. <laughs> um, this is one that I didn't know much about. I looked it up. And man, I'm glad I did because this cover is very nice, but it's the Darwin Cook Starfire number three variant. And I love the colors. I love the, I love the book. Um, just think it's something that you just don't find very often, you know, in, in, in this, um, you know, climate in terms of like going to LCS and finding a book like this. Uh, just really cool. And I'm uh, very excited about you know this book and grabbing it. Um, as a variant collector, and I love Darwin Cook's art, and this is one that you just don't see that often. And I think $40 is definitely a great steal for this book, and I was just glad to pick it up. It has a few um, little ticks here on the spine. You see them. And so I don't think it's going to be a high grade. You know, it, it's definitely a press and grade type candidate. But it's not going to be super high grade. But again, that book is really rare and really tough. Now, the last book I got was definitely something um, I didn't expect. And I've actually never seen this book in the wild. Um, I don't look for it. So maybe it, it was there and I wasn't looking for it. I don't look for it because it's just a book that I wasn't that aware of to go look for. And um, But I read about it and I heard about it recently. And I saw it and I was like, man, this book is just awesome in person. And it is Batman 222, a very nice uh, cover, pretty darn good grade. Um, and it's the Beatles cover with the Paul is dead, you know, from the, um, you know, they're kind of playing on the Sergeant Pepper, I think, or whatever album cover they thought Paul was dead on. But anyway, <laughs> it was definitely cool. Um to find this live, you know, at a, at a, at a LCS really, really cool book. I'm super stoked about getting this book for, you know, 150, I think is pretty much, I think a going rate, especially an LCS rate. But again, the cover is, it's pretty nice. And again, great at this book definitely sells really well. So it's definitely one of those, again, press grade and see what you get. And you might, you know, make a couple, a couple bucks on it, you know, but definitely some good value. So, Really excited. I mean, going through those, the Starfire book, that Uncanny X-Men land variant, um, the Phoenix cover. I mean, just, you know, um, the Run the Jewels, Deadpool. I mean, just a lot of cool variants all in one place, all at one time. Now, the next LCS I went to is um, my real local one, Monster Stash. And these books are not um, expensive like those books were. They're just books either... I like the cover. They're more modern and just, or the reading material. I'll go through them quick. Uh, thing two, more, Villain's Reign. Um, this is a um, just the base cover, but I just thought it's a great um, cover of, um, I believe that's Doctor Doom. I'm trying to think. Yeah, that's got to be Doctor Doom, right? So, um, pretty cool cover. Um, definitely um, one I just wanted to have because it's a cool cover. Now, I got two of these. And these were the only two kind of value books I found there. So I found two of these um, Joker Presents Puzzle Box Issue 6, the Peacemaker version. And again, these are going for about 15 to 20 bucks on eBay. And I got it for cover price $6. So one. Here is number two. So again, good value there on uh, somewhat rare and desirable Peacemaker cover. Uh, again, Reading material. This is a new run. Um, you know, Empire of the Spider Part One. So I picked it up. Um, Miles Morales. And then, um, you know, I think it's a cardstock variant. Not a huge book, but 
I like the cover, uh, Spatman 124, so I grabbed it. And then these are definitely readers. You know, I, I, I read this series, so I'm just buying the actual uh, full series. So here's Dark Knight of Steel, number seven. Uh, Batman on a Dragon, how can you go wrong with that? Here's number six. Um, again, so six and seven. You know, these are the cover A's or the base covers. So two really cool base covers. And then one variant cover uh, for number six. Like that one. I'm, I believe that's Supergirl coming in. So pretty cool there. I uh, like that a lot. And then um, picked up just some, again, um, Dark Crisis 1 variant cover. And then Dark Crisis 1 regular cover. So nothing big there, but just two cool books. I'm really uh, interested in actually in reading a lot of those books. So those are the readers. Now, the next books I, I got up are going to be some of the more uh, eBay pickups and books that I've been, um, you know, for my variant uh, cover collection. And this one is fits, sorry, fits the bill for a lot of my collection. So this is um, New Mutants number, let's see, 26. So this is, uh, you know, Danny Moonstar or Mirage or one of her many names that she's had, but um, I think she's been Valkyrie as well. So again, uh, just a great variant cover. Uh, really, really like this one. Um, really um, excited about this because this is not very expensive, but it's a great, great photo or sorry, great cover of this uh, character. And I collect this character again. I, I do a Native American comic book collection, so getting that was awesome. Um, and just finding it because the the thing with me is like you know I don't pay as much attention as I used to on the variant covers. I don't like every week run through them all, seeing which ones are out there. And so when I go out into the LCS and I, and I see a book like this, or I see it on eBay, I'm like, Oh wow. That, you know, I, I missed that one. And, and it's so cool to pick up and, you know, some cases cheap or some cases expensive, but no matter what, it's always fun to pick up some books you never saw before for, you know, when you see them for the first time and they just like grab you and they're like, Rrr, and just, you know, grab a hold of you. And that's how that book did. Now here is Spider Gwen number one, the Campbell store exclusive. Just a cool cover. I'm, you know, Campbell is one of those guys that has his thing. He does it. Sometimes I love it. Sometimes I'm like, eh, you know, this is one of those ones where I'm like in between. It's good. It's not his best. Um, a lot of it has to do with how he draws a mask in her hand. It's kind of in her hand. It's just like kind of pressed up against the wall. Almost like it doesn't really exist. It's just like, it's just like he put so much detail on the body, but then on this mask, he's just like, oh, I'm going to draw something. It's just, that's what he kind of does now. He doesn't really put as much effort in every drawing as he used to. But again, still pretty cool. Again, I'm kind of in the middle of the row, but. I saw it and I was like, yeah, I might as well pick it up. It wasn't super expensive. Uh, here is uh, Amazing 606. This is, again, a uh, Campbell black and white variant uh, with Spider-Man kissing Black Cat, which is always nice with Mary Jane in the background. So there you go. 606 variant black and white variant of uh, Spider-Man by Campbell. Next up is a book that I ordered a long time ago. Uh, and I finally got it in. And it's the Joe Hill Rain Number 1. It is the Zoo or Zoo Limited Virgin Variant to 300 copies. And there you go. And it's a beautiful, beautiful book. For anyone who's read the series, I know this is a Joe Hill. Based, it's based on a Joe Hill story. And he, uh, it's just a great story. It's a lot of sadness and it's very melancholy story-wise, um, but, you know, great cover. Um, I just felt like, you know, just sums up the entire feeling of the series into this one image. And again, you see on the back, the COA, so, so to speak, of this. This is a copy 71. So again, they're, they're, these books are done like this all the time. And if I find one that grabs me, like I talked talk about earlier, then yes. I grab it and then I put it in my collection. But if I don't think it's uh, speaking to me, then yes, I kind of just leave it alone. 
Um, so I don't buy every one of these books like this. Just the ones I really, really like the image. Now here's um, a book in kind of a story on this one. So this is, I think around 2013, 2014, Milo Manera did a bunch of Marvel uh, variants. And the most, you know, um, I guess noteworthy or the most infamous was the Spider-Woman um, pose he did. Now, do I think that was like the most egregious uh, cover? I think it was just him. <laughs> Again, I've talked about Monero before on some videos. Like if you want Milo Monero to do a variant cover, that's what you're going to get. So if you don't want that, then don't have him make covers. So I don't know what people were expecting, but, you know, I, I still like the cover. And again, this is a great cover if this is the art you want. If you want sexy girl art, Milo Monero is your dude. He does it great. And this is why these covers, again, they're one in 50s. They're tough to find and graded. They sell pretty high, but raw, you can get them at pretty good deals if, you, if you're patient. Um, so I'm going to put together the Monero cover set. I don't know how many there is. I got to do more research on how many actually he did. But, you know, I've got the Wonder Woman Virgin uh, he just did uh, for the Italian Museum, which is amazing. And um, so, again, I like almost all of his art he does for Marvel and, and DC because he just puts a lot more detail into it than I think a lot of other artists right now. Uh, next up is a hip hop variant. This is all new Wolverine number one hip hop variant. So here on this one, I want to talk a little less about the cover because I, I think it's a great cover. Uh, X 23. Um, but I've been getting more and more comic books sent to me and top loaders. And I've actually bought a bunch of top loaders. And I'm starting to transfer a lot of my higher dollar books into that are raw into heart into these top loaders. And I think I'm just going to bite the bullet and just go all the way. Um, you know, with, with books over a certain amount of money, because, you know, as you move books around, as I go to comic book shows and set up as a dealer and do all this stuff, I, I find that things get damaged. And I feel like when they're in these kind of holders, the odds of damage is so much lower that it's just worth it, the extra expense. And I know a lot of people are just like, it's just too much work or it's not worth the effort and cost, but I'm definitely doing it because again, I got my second book here and this is again, the, uh, uh, Suzumaka. Uh, I've had books from her before and I always put your name. Suzumika variant, um, first appearance, uh, red claw in DC community. There you go. And that's a continuity, but it's a great Harley and Catwoman cover. You know, I, I think it's just great that they've created this kind of like, Catwoman, Ivy, um, Harley kind of trio that's done a lot of, I think, fun books. I definitely, I've talked about a lot about the HBO series. I think it'd be great if Catwoman comes into that series and you have kind of like this, um, you know, these three women kind of all being friends and, you know, and then, and, and two of them are hooking up and, you know, it's just like, where could that go? Cause I feel like the dynamic that would be fun if they add, you know, that third wheel, uh, cause right now Joker plays the third wheel and everyone hates him <laughs> for good reason. It'd be interesting to have a third wheel that actually was interesting and wasn't hated, but we'll see if they ever do that. It'd be cool. But this book is awesome. And again, the seller was very cool. Like he, he like, like wrote a handwritten note. <laughs> right, congrats on winning this amazing cover. It looks better in person. My second copy is already a CGC thing. So very cool when you get handwritten notes. Um, on books, I think it's just shows that the, the, the seller is very passionate. I think that's, what's cool. Now my first big book. So I'm into the graded books now. So my first big book here, I'm going to go to the silver age first. And again, it's the first copy I've ever owned of this book. Um, it's not, I guess for this book, it's not super duper high grade, but to me, it's high grade enough that shows off the cool cover and it is a book. And again, um, I'll pull back a little bit so you can see the grade. Um, it's an 8.5 and I feel like it is, um, one of those really, I just, I just think it's a super cool 8.5. Um, you know, I, 
I love this book. <laughs> I love all uh, Steranko covers mostly. I think he just gets it and everything about it from the shadowing. I mean, it's like, it's, it's almost like you can feel the modern age of comic books coming in, in this cover, like the level of detail, the shadowing on the faces, just like how much more is going on in this cover in terms of more realistic looking, you know, uh, art, um, the detail again, is just great. And yeah, this is like the beginning of, of, of a thing. And, um, yeah, I, I think Steranko is not mentioned amongst the greats enough. I think his art stands the test of time. And again, this is one of those great Hulk Captain America covers. Um, you know, just, yeah, I think it's one of those things where, um, if you're a, a collector of, of Silver Age comic books, you got to have these kind of covers in your in your collection. Same way for the Silver Surfers and you know you know the you know one and you know one two and three for sure. There's just so many good good, you know, good covers, and you know uh, or four and Silver Surfer, you know the Thor cover. You know, all those covers are just you know iconic. And so to me, you know, this is one of those covers that gets a little missile overlooked, but when you see it in person, it's just so striking. And again, this is a great copy from a color standpoint, um, you know, from a technical grade, I don't know where it got hit, but man, the front cover looks super nice. Very little in way of, um, of creases. And I, uh, this is obvious it was hardly pressed, you know, based on how it looks over here. And this, this book definitely got some pressing, maybe even a little cleaning, but it looks amazing. I mean, it's just one of those great looking books. When you see it, you're like, wow, that's, I got to have that. You know, it definitely, you know, grabs you in and makes you want to buy that book when you see it in person. Now, my last book, you know, I'm just going to show it here. Because again, you know, if you follow the channel at all or just know what I love collecting, uh, this is one of those books that, um, you know, obviously I'm going to love because of, you know, um, you know, the content and and and, and the uh, the uh, artist. This is uh, Alex Schomburg, All Winter Comics number twelve, and you know there's just so much going on. You know to talk about this cover. First of all, you've got the motorcycle, right? And I've shown my Cap twenty seven many times, but you know it's the motorcycle cover for Cap America. But here's another great motorcycle cover. And so to me, it's like they're companion books. Just love the fact that, you know, uh, you got double, you know, covers, you know, with motorcycles and just, you know, Schomburg doing just a Schomburg thing and you know, just stuff going on everywhere. Now, another thing that's great about this book is I don't have this branding or sub brand all winners comics. I don't have a single issue until now. So, you know, I look at my collection, I've got, torch and i got you know marvel mystery and captain america you know i got a lot of you know the you know submariner you know uh submariner you know like the 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 stuff that you, you normally associate alex schomburg and marvel with but i don't have all winners and so that's one i was missing from just the lineup and so that's that that ticks that box um and thirdly even though not on cover but in the book is um, Red Skull and Hitler, which always makes, to me, the book go in value just to have those people there. But to me, you know, like this is just everything that I love about the Golden Age. You know, it's a Marvel book. It's It's got, you know, Schomburg doing his Schomburg thing. It's got, it's a war cover. It's got Captain on a, on a motorcycle. It's just awesome. Um, and even though it's a 2.0, uh, I still think it, you know, does a great job on the front cover. And most of the damage was regulated, I believe, to the back. You can see tons of foxing staining all around the book on the back. So, you know, the front looks pretty nice. You know, definitely good for a 2.0. Um, and so I just, you know, love the book. And it's my first big Schomburg book I've gotten in quite a while. So I'm really happy to share it. So hopefully you enjoy the content and hopefully you like what you see on my, on my comic side of it. I don't do them as often, but I definitely collect a lot of comics as well. So uh, leave me a like, um, please subscribe if you like this kind of content. Um, 
you know, and uh, hopefully I do more of it for you guys. And so uh, let me know and I'll see you next time. Bye.